Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as boomers. Um, as you see on screen, uh, we're, we're quite green right now, but uh, we're going to go to war with uh, them there, people of uh, New Vegas. Um, Art of Haglin, make a purchase with caps. Well, I guess we got that one done already. Very nice. Um, but we're going to do the best we can here. As we have a lot of territory we have to administer. Oh, democracy is non-negotiable, huh? Conquer a non-people nation. Well, they're not people, but I don't consider them people, right? Uh, let's go, let's see. Uh, I want you guys to go over here. Do that if you can, please. And we'll start cutting these guys down as much as we possibly can. We've got a few comments to go through. Not too many, but uh, a few comments to go through, such as... Uh, okay, Boomer. Yeah. Yeah. Help them out. Why not? Crimson Acolytes in the Timberline. Very nice. Oh, what do we have for research now? Uh, what do we want? We're, we're old. You know, I think we'll, we'll stick with the tried true um, standard. Machine gun like this. That'd be nice. Looking for any more areas that we could possibly attack as well. Good. Let them attack us just a little bit and then let our guys get uh, a little bit more settled. As we'll continue to do what we must. But right now we're also doing Wasteland Settlers Arrive. Which I believe I read last time. Which I there's quite a few days since this video and the last video. So if you're gonna do this again, please go ahead. Still attacking, eh? Good as you should. Um, can you actually go there, maybe? Anything like that, perhaps? Still attacking. Nice. Very nice. Awesome. We're going to recycle soldiers a whole bunch in and out. Don't let them move. You actually might have to take New Vegas yourself, huh? That wouldn't be a bad thing. Got a little more experience here. Come on, and there we go. Let's let everyone do what they must. Here, help them out, New Vegas. You might as well. We'll finish these guys off and finish these guys off, and then you guys head over here, too. See what you can do. Because after that, sleepers, that'd be a little difficult to get to. White legs, I did want to go to war with as well. Um, but it's only 90 days, that's not too bad. Hey, we cleaned those guys up pretty nicely. Over 400 losses, and they're all pretty much almost all robots, not quite, but almost. And New Vegas' downfall. We got what, a bunch of robots. Very nice until we conquer a note. Pretty good as we wait to go to war with these guys. We'll probably struggle a little bit as we're taking up the tar walkers. Of course, I think I read Tato Farmers as well, but Brahmin Herders? I can't remember. Brahmin Herding, burning, uh, breeding and herding. Learn from traders using them in the commercial convoy. Look for population size, will increase in food stock from both the milk as well as the meat, which is enough to feed an entire small village for a week. This is going to be part of the Brahmin and the recipes and practical applications will increase it even further. And so, another comment from the last video was I unsubscribed from you long, long, long ago for the reason because you speak, speak too darn fast. I've gotten a little better in some cases, but. Yeah, I speak really freaking and fast. Back lot. with you, me, and a couple of white legs and thrashing them about, but you know we'll see you in the end. <clears throat> As cameras have tried, we've got West Tech schematics. Um, do we want West Tech schematics? We could. We don't really have power armor, really, so we're gonna try to attempt to break over the river here. We'll do the best we possibly can, but the biggest little city in the NCR. Look at that. Good for them, I guess. Good for them. Oh, let me get these guys. Come on, and and we broke over. Beautiful. Training programs are nice too. You guys go there and you go there. Ta da! Hope it'll work out for everybody. But we can also uh, explore Vault 3. Vault 3 is partially flooded, and the Fiend's occupation of the vault does not help it stay. Establishing an outpost here would not be impossible, but a much easier prospect would be to repair the water purification systems for export to the rest of our settlements. Use the water for existing, existing sediments, renovate the vault, and establish a sediment. Well, technically, we have cored it, so there's no point in doing this one. All you do is lose manpower. I guess you get security, too, but, you know, whatever. Nice. Don't let him leave. You're not allowed to leave. Good. Another division? Sure. Beautiful. Six divisions encircled? Yes, please. Out of them, we could probably go to war with these guys, too, I assume. Yes. 140 days is quite a bit of time, though. 
Get our guys on the line, and then we might be able to just do a general attack, perhaps. Need some portable radios, infantry armor, but what else is new? Radios, armor. At least we're making some now, which is good. It's very good. Oh, right. Not a lot of structure around here. That's alright. Uh, I think I read this earlier, so if you want to read uh, Old World Tactics, please go right ahead to see what we can do. We should have a good amount of air superiority. 5.6, 5.7 damage ish sometimes to 9 ish up here as well. Pretty decent overall. Uh, point defense strategy, if you want to read this one, please go ahead, as well as tactical awareness mapping. Some marching drills and long distance movements, which I think I've read through all that before. For trade laws, enforcing fair trade laws to avoid common scams and unprofitable exchanges without our factors benefit from more resources at a decreased cost, which would be useful for general manufacturing, development, develop roadways. Old world roadways can still be found everywhere in pitiful conditions, yet still serving as light trails and landmarks. While we're building, allowing even motorized transport to use them and considerably speed up movements, let it be a commercial or strategic, or strategic plan for the future. Looking forward towards the future, we need more and more factories to keep up with the demand of our people and government. Our such, CAPS investments will be made in proper research into these uh, materials or matters, letting us be uh, prepared for any eventuality. We're doing very well now. Very well. As long as you got enough cast, you'll generally do pretty well in whatever you want. No guarantee, but still pretty good. Good. And goodbye. Oh, hello. This looks quite dangerous, actually. The boomers are booming. Doing a good old job. No undesirables. We already have outside of battalions. Might go military academy training. We'll see. Your bread mods are nice. A little bit ahead of time. Excuse me. And we're there. Not bad, not bad. They do want to do some funky stuff to us, which is not cool. Try that, maybe. How much more do we really need? We killed off 5,000, which ain't bad. Old World Tactics are pretty nice, though. Or trade laws? Sure, why not? And you go, just go right there. There you go. Goodbye. Hey, another goodbye as well. Is that really the core? Huh. Well, alright. Eventually we'll do Vault 19. Abandoned to, to, uh, to a sulfur leak, it might be operable. Vault 21. The bottom floors of the vault have been collapsed in, though the upper floors can accommodate quite a lot, and then clearing up Vault 22. And our initial surveys. The team lost contact with us, and the surveillance team, surface team, has, has sent word of the strange plants have been sprouting out of the entrance of the vault. Once inside, they found the remains of the survey team's camp, under the layers of roots and other plumbing. Um, uh, flat, or flat matter. Uh, this even the worst, they retried it. Called in flamers to support and burn everything they could find. Luckily for us, before the strike team even knew what was waiting for them, humanoid plant mutants burned in their hiding places without much resistance. Good thing Vault Tech provided how to act in case of floor uprisings. Nice. Ferocious. Negotiator. Uh, be flexible. Long range radio. Sure. Good. We lost about well, less than 600. That's pretty decent. That's due Vault 19. Vault 19 was a set of experimental and social separation, separating the vault dwellers into two separate groups. The experiment failed, however, due to a huge sulfur deposit that contaminated their air supply. Use sulfur deposits for explosives, which we have already cored. Oh, grenade machine gun, or we can core it. Sure, why not?
Good, good, good. And we got him anyways. Beautiful. Alright, so take out these guys. There's only one border. Second battle. Hoover, damn. Oh boy. We can see what we can play around with these guys, you know. Let's, let's play around with them. Vault 21, the residents of Vault 21 gambled ownership of their vault away to Mr. House. He cruelly, cruelly expelled them from their home and filled it with a good part of it with concrete. However, he allowed for a few of the citizens to set up the thriving market industry. Incorporate them? Return the vault to working order. Well, I'm sure to take to core this. 149 is quite a bit. This makes more sense, honestly. To do. Oh, well. We got vault security. Stand combo, which is not great, but whatever. William Lee, yes. Sure, why not? He's a lone wolf. Army breakthrough. He's a leader size on four. Oh, that sucks. Idiot savant. Um. Not bad overall. Um, how many more days? Eh, we don't have that many more days left. I'll go that one, we'll go this one eventually. That'd be nice. Vault 22. Removing the infestation. The lost contact with the survey team is now the least of our problems. The plant plays infection with, with, with seal within Vault 22 and has affected them. We could either set up a quarantine area and try to research the effects of the infection, or we could clear this mess out. It is just out of love. It's going to clear in steam. Research the infection. Um, it keeps bringing us back over here. Oh, it's right there. Duh. Uh, well, it's a colony state. We can core it. But that won't make too much sense to do. But now you're a core. This should be. Can a non core, a colony state, become a core over here? No, maybe not. Well, that was a waste. Good to know, though. Good to know. We're looking pretty boomy. Not bad. Until we have to go to war with the NCR, and that's going to be terrible. Um. Nevada Pact. I can't believe they literally just absorbed all of New Reno. Just wow. Um, maybe grab a territory, perhaps. Or maybe we should focus on going to Wendover. Another pre forbidden pre forbidden pre war base. Boomer forces have scattered the ways in Nevada and found an old pre war facility, even for pre war standards. The place seems odd. In the bunkers are camouflaged, no one's been here for years. Some of the power still on, some of our men <clears throat> claim the hear voices, but it's probably fine. The sign in, in one of the bunkers indicates that there was once a groom lake testing grounds, no just to find out what they tested. Cool. You know, just like shove yourself in here. Obviously, you can't. But do we have any uh, plane coverage? We should have a lot of plane coverage, actually. Up to 12. This should do pretty decently overall. Yeah, we'll see. 34 versus 5. Miniaturized circuitry is pretty good too. Land auction's coming along. Plane stop, yeah. And. Almost 6,000. Manpower and reserve, huh? How much do these guys have? 1,000. We should be dropping pretty quickly. The equipment is okay. But I know they definitely won't be able to hold on forever. Yep, they started losing territory, which is good. Very good. Good. Grand Walsh. Walsh? Wash? Fort Pierce, very awesome. Excavate the lab, huh? It seems that there's something underground, something buried on purpose under the tunnel rock. But why is the only way, in, way for us to find out? But digging in the depths of the Earth itself. 
Oh sure, it shouldn't take too much longer to get to these guys, right? Plan for the future. Uh, go with Cunning at Desert Fox. You both, that'd be great. We're really racking up some casualties here. For that group. Rapid prototyping is pretty good. Almost there, almost there. Good. Lost about 500 versus 2000, that's good. Booming our way across the wastelands. They have no other puppets right, and we... This expires when? 23rd in about a month. Pretty decent. Ninety-four, that's quite a bit. For Area 51, but we could, we could use it. Let's see what Nova's all like now. Let them attack us. Let them run into us, you know. How strong are they? 2 to 4,000 manpower, up to 45 division. That's pretty good for them. Pretty good overall. Um, we don't have a lot of... Yeah, we got some... Well, the range is not bad. There you go. And a couple more planes in the mix. Why not? Um, the tribes? 150 days, that's quite a long time, but whatever. We currently only get 1.58 political power every day, but whatever. Local pride, our investments bear fruit, and the quality of life of the population increases. Support begins to swell. Uh, and pride is taken from contributing to our community. Our citizens feel honored to help and our militia to protect. A soldier sincerely believes in the cause he fights for will only do so much harder. Now we have to have a cup of coffee to keep it nice and warm. Even at this point, I'm not, I'm not really that cold, so I don't really need to be warm. Whatever. And then uh, the city becomes town. Or now town becomes city. One of those two. More and more people arrive from the surrounding communities or are born into our capital. We need to expand it even further, transform it from a simple town to a city. Such a change will take efforts, but our workers are more than ready to make them happen. I'll benefit from further space as well as manufacturing capabilities from it. Was not a love. Nice. They just love attacking. And even though we can pierce them, we've got a lot of air superiority here. How much do we have now? Almost 18? It's not bad. Could be better, though. Uh, there you go. Uh, let's see. Any other air bases? Yeah. See these guys doing the fighter missions for now. These look like these guys are exhausting themselves. But it's hard to tell since we can't, since the uh, war score screen is currently bugged out of its mind, but whatever. Beautiful. More manpower, more industry, what's not a love? And I love it all. They're still attacking. They're still going crazy for us, or against us, or for us. Details. Took part in the occupation of Vault 21, huh? Citations? More HP? Sure. Because we're going to need another general suit, too. Alright, go in. See what you can muster up. 
Uh, Old Roblo is one of my favorite mods of all time. We still need more radios and infantry on Roach. Makes perfect sense. Very good. Local pride. 1.7, not bad. Pretty good. Develop the outer city. With the capital having become a fine city, we can begin to look outward towards the less developed regions of our nation. Other cities need funding for the development programs, and we can finally give them the caps to begin construction with. Oh, we we'll cut them off right here or here. And these guys will be cut off completely. And there'll be nothing that they can do. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is more than enough time to get ready for these guys too, so. Oh no, I guess they're not cut off there. That sucks. If we cut them here, it'll be better, but whatever. Don't let them move. I like it when they can't move. Turns into kind of a grind fest, though. Oh, and finally, let's go and destroy 11 divisions. Yes, please. Thank you, Andover Republic. I want to stay with the maximum infrastructure. Nice. John Jackson, huh? Special Forces leader. Special Forces attack and defense? Sure. That's stuff we like. Stuff we like a lot. Need like a couple divisions over there as well. Uh, might just poop them out right now. Don't need much, just two more divisions. Charles Rice. Come out, hang over here with us. Well, we're just a little bit. Let's start producing some good old planes here. Mm. Ah, that'd be inspirational. Why not? Well, that there, our city. Please. And it shouldn't be too much more too many more days until we go to war with these guys, probably. Yeah, about less than two weeks, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty decent overall. <clears throat> Do that one too, economic precision, nice. Now let's have force base is good. Level 21. We're gonna route to the North Phoenix, maybe? Yeah. That'd be decent. Coyote Springs, huh? That would be good to do as well. Or both. See what we can do with these guys. Attack us there, and then we'll go this way and go bye bye. Fairfield Warband! It really should take us that long to go through these guys. Tell us much forces to force it, and. Well, we're like literally obliterating their divisions. Unfortunate. Cool. I don't know, we could try to go to war with Kaiser's Legion, but they are fighting each other, so they voted us. So I'm not feeling too I'm not feeling the, the, the demands of trying to go to war with them, so it might be good where we're at currently.
Basic aquifer. Very nice. Very, very, very good. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good now. And they're gone. I think we've boomed quite well. We could use the boomers to go to war with the Legion more of these guys, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really feeling it with this campaign. So maybe that's bigger and maybe stronger. We could do well. Oh, the Legion's going to get beaten the crap out of it. They have no manpower. And they'll probably explode anyways, but I don't know. I think I might just end the campaign there. The boomers are still fine. And this focus tree, the, the dads have been trying to really mess around trying to make this a little more interesting than it usually has been. So I uh, do see and notice what the dads have been doing. Ooh, we could, could have got more population down there, but... Hey, you know what? Even though we didn't do all this stuff, it's alright. A lot of this stuff doesn't really help out sometimes, and this is really good, police protection, but you're not you're really using robots, you only have intermediate uh, uh, technologies of boomers, but it is what it is. If you enjoyed the campaign, then leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great Old World Blues rest of your day.